So, um, yeah, uh, YouTube Rewind, it's out for this year. And I just wanted to get my thoughts out there, because I know there's going to be like a million other of these videos, but I just wanted to, you know, just so if someone sees this and is a bit confused about what's going on and why, you know, this year's Rewind has been um, getting the response it has been, uh, well, I'll just be basically explaining that to you. I know this video is not like the most high quality, like it's just the rewind as a background. Like I might do like a, if enough people like this video, I might do like a, an, a follow up video to this, it's like more professionally made, but I just wanted to get this out, like get my thoughts out, so. Okay, so currently YouTube Rewind 2019 is, it has a much larger dislike ratio than likes. Now, if you haven't seen the original rewind itself, um, I'd recommend that you see that first. It's, if you don't want to watch it, and to be honest, I wouldn't really blame you, uh, it's basically like the original, like the very first YouTube Rewind. It's just kind of like a, it's like a Watch Mojo video, just a whole bunch of like statistics, and statistics, I mean. Instead of like last year and all the years really before that, where it's like actually live action, they like, f like fly out YouTubers and it's like kind of like kind of creative. This year, it's, uh, it's just text that says, this was, for example, the most liked video. And then it'll just do like a top 10 list of the most liked videos. Which I'm sure you're already starting to see the main problem here. But, uh, I mean, their big thing this year was that they didn't want it to be like last year. Like, they made it clear in their tweets and, like, in the beginning of the video. The whole, the first, like, half a minute of the video is, like, basically just YouTube saying, okay, so you didn't like 2018, well, how about you do it, smartass? And so they just show us everything that we liked throughout the entire year. And that's it. The YouTubers that got in don't really surprise me. PewDiePie got in, which I feel like is a good step. I mean, if PewDiePie didn't get in, then they... I am I feel like YouTube would have a lot more dislikes than likes right now. It was weird, though, because, like, it didn't really include a lot of other things that people liked. Uh, especially for, a, like, a rewind. And that's the weird part, is that... It was all just like statistics. I know I already said that, but like, for example, the Logan Paul versus KSI fight was not in there at all. And maybe that happened like too late for them to add it in. But I mean, considering the overall laziness of the rewind, I mean, they probably could add it in and go like, whatever. But yeah, that's basically all YouTube rewind was. It was just a watch mojo video. And if you are confused, cause I see a lot of people on Twitter and that's the main thing that like wanted me to make this video. Um, people on Twitter are like, this rewind was actually good, why do you guys not like it? Like, it, bruh, what do you mean? It's like the best thing ever. Okay, well, not the best thing ever, but a lot of people are just like, it was fine, it was passable, I don't get why so many people are hating on it. Some people believe that it could just be that the YouTube rewind name is so tarnished at this point that no matter what, even if it is like a really good rewind, if that's even possible, it will always have more dislikes and likes simply just because it's a rewind and it's by YouTube. Um, that could very well be the case, but I think it's mostly just has to do with the fact that this rewind just, it was just lazy. And you'll see this throughout the comments, actually all the comment sections are just people making a meme about YouTube. So in 2019, let's see what people like, everyone. Let's copy and paste someone else's comment. So everyone just copy and pasting the same thing. And what I'm assuming is because that's all really YouTube did is they just copied and pasted everything from this year without adding any creativity to it. Like, it's the most bland thing you could ever do from a mega corporation coming off of the most disliked video in internet history is to just put together a Watch Mojo like statistic video and just call it a day and say that's a rewind. Like, I remember they even posted a meme that was like, oh, it's actually gonna be something different. It's something you're gonna like. But, uh, no. Um, this is just, this is just, you, you've done this before, YouTube, actually. You did this in your first rewind, which was literally just, it was just Rebecca Black just commenting on the top 10 most viewed videos of the year. So, yeah, that's, you just kind of did that again, so it's not different at all. I just, I, I just, I can't really process how this idea, though, of just making a top 10 list, maybe they just put it off for so long, they just didn't have the time to make a live action or maybe they just fired their live action studio that films all their stuff which is honestly very likely but you know so all in all was the rewind itself bad uh well i mean to be honest like it wasn't it was better than 2018 it was definitely 2018 making a rewind worse than 2018 would be hard 
Because 2018, as you all probably know, it was just didn't capture anything. It was just appealing to only really the big advertisers. That's the way YouTube is, though, so not much we can do about it. I do want to say, though, that if you are feeling a little bit disappointed, like a lot of people with this rewind, um, I recommend trying this thing or watching this thing called YouTube Rewind The Legend Edition. It's made by someone from the community, but it is a actually really high quality, much better made video than YouTube Rewind 2019. And it goes all the way back to the very first YouTube video all the way to now, and it recaps everything. And it, it re even recaps things like Etika's death. So I'll post a link to that in the description as well as the original if for some reason you want to watch that, I guess. But uh, yeah, there's not really much we can do about this. I think this is just the way that YouTube Rewind is going to be from now on. Ever since, like, from what I've heard like people have not been really liking rewind ever since like 2015 or 2014 really but this one was just it, it just felt lazy that's the big issue is that they could have done better they so easily could have done better all right well uh i'm gonna go uh go sleep because i'm tired i got like four hours of sleep on this night so yeah see ya bye